Hi guys, this is going to be hopefully a very quick um, comparison review of um, mascara pencils, um, or not mascara pencils, I'm sorry, eyeshadow pencils. I've just been having mascara on the mind because I've been filming about mascara, sorry. Anyway, so um, I have three different brands kind of similar products to all of them in different forms. This one's been depotted, so um, that's why it's in this tub. But, um, so, the most famous, I think, that everybody knows about are the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencils. These are pretty popular. People know about them. When you say Jumbo Pencils, you think of NYX normally. Um, I know there are some high-end brands that make similar type things, or I think, actually, MAC has, like, a grease stick. Um eyeshadow line or something like that. I don't really know. I'm not really a big MAC person. I do own a few MAC products and actually I have some on the way too, but um, in the mail, but um, I'm not really big into MAC. I don't know everything about them, so if you're like a really big MAC person and you know everything, post, <laughs> post that down below and tell me if that's true or not because I'm not sure. Okay, so this one in particular is called Pacific. It's number 616. Let's watch it for you. It's blue. That's just, I rarely use this color because I think blue looks odd on me. Um, then I have this one. This is Milk. Yeah, it looks funky, but it still gets the job done. I depotted it because I got tired of having to um, kind of like take it out of the, um, of the pencil. Let me just get this going if I can. Okay, so that's not quite as neat as I want it to be. <laughs> um, this is Milk. That's probably the most popular, one of the most popular. I think Cottage Cheese is another popular one. That one's, it's like a white, pearly, um, iridescent type color. Um, and that one's pretty popular too for shimmer. I think Black Bean's popular. That one's a black one. And there's another one I think it's brown. And that Coffee Bean maybe? Or Coffee? I don't really know. But that one's pretty popular too. My next ones I got are the Wet n Wild Idol Eyes Cream Shadow Pencils. I have two. I have one in Graphite. This is number 135. And it's kind of like a gunmetal kind of, well, maybe, yeah, kind of. It's got sparkle to it. I think all of them, all of these ones in particular do. Um, yeah. That's what it looks like. That's the darkest one they have. They also have a green one. This one's my favorite, favorite of all the ones that I have, of all of these. This is Pixie. This is number 130. And I like to use the, this one in particular when I'm, like, doing a kind of, like, light color on the inside of my lid. And then on the outside, I want to do, like, a nice, neutral, kind of smoky eye. I hope you can see that. It's a really pretty color. It's kind of like a champagne. It's awesome. It's really versatile, I find. And um, if you have some creasing happening with the, with this one in particular, you're not going to be able to notice it as much. I think it's really, it's really great. Then I have this by Rimmel. I have two of these. These are the Eiffel Eye Glistener Crayons. This one is number 200. It's called Straight Laced. And it's like a purple with like an iridescent gold happening with it. I hope you can see that. Um... This one I like to top off with um, one of my favorite eyeshadows from Glamour Doll Eyes. It's called Graves in May. I really like that on top of this. It do, they do they pair themselves together very very well, uh, or they complement each other very very well. I actually find that when I top it, um, when I put Graves in May on top of this one, the um, straight laced, it's it doesn't crease, so I don't know if that's because Glamour Doll eye eyeshadows are so great or if it's because of this, because this is actually pretty creamy, um, and I don't really see how this could actually, um, could, uh, have that much staying power to it, honestly. Oh, and then the other one I have is a pink one, it's the same thing, it's by this, it's by Rimmel as well, this one's, um, called Girls Only, it's number 100, and this is pink, it's also got, like, a gold kind of sheen to it. When I bought these, I think I was on crack or something because um, I don't ever wear these colors in particular. And not because I'm and not be, I'm not on crack. I'm sorry. I think I had lost my mind or had a, a, judge, a lapse of judgment or something because these colors in particular aren't colors that I normally wear. This one, yeah, but this pink one on my eyelids, never. And when I look at it, I'm like, oh, I want to wear it on my lips, but I don't know if that's safe. So I should probably look that up and see if it's safe because if it is, then I'm totally going to use it for that instead. Um, I think this would make a really great lipstick actually. So I don't know. But I'm not condoning you or telling you to um, do that. So um, that's all on your own. But all of them, honestly, all of them crease. I have not found one of these type of eyeshadow pencils or crayons that don't 
have creasing. Even the milk has creasing. Um, I tend to use the milk on the weekends when I'm only going to go out for a couple of hours or just like going out for lunch or something with a friend or even um, on a couple of hours of shopping or something like that. If I'm going to work then I tend to use something a bit more strong like, um, what is it, um, LA Splash, um, eyeshadow sealer and or base because that one's got a little more staying power. It's better for all day wear. Um, I trust it more. But like I said, all of these crease. I think they're really great colors to have if you're going to be doing like a smudgy look or something like that. Like that would really work with this graphite color from um, Wet n Wild is really great. The other thing that I really like about the Wet n Wild ones is, okay, these are kind of big. The rest of these are kind of big. And you're paying quite a bit. I think the Rimmel ones, I think, were maybe like $5, which is pretty expensive. Then the NYX ones aren't, you know, cheap either. They're like 4 bucks, I think. But these ones are really cheap. These are like $1.99. They don't have a whole lot of product, no. But honestly, like, how often are you going to be using these? Because, I, as you can see, I don't use these often. For somebody who, like me who uses them rarely, I think these are uh, a lot more efficient um, way of using I think these are a lot more... Um, uh, these are a better bet in saving your money um, and getting more bang for your buck, I think, in my opinion. And honestly, like, I think you can depot these as well. Yeah, see these come, this little end comes right out. And the Rimmel ones, do these? I think I tried pulling them off. These are a lot harder to take off. Um, you're going to have to like work these a bit more. But yeah, anyway, so I mean I like them for what they do, but just know how much these things crease. I don't really trust them, like I said, to not cause creasing or to not crease on me. Um, but I know what I'm getting myself into when I'm buying them. And for those of you out there who have always wanted to try, yeah, word to the wise. That's all I'm going to say about that. But they're great for what they can do and what they are, I think. Um, so, good luck <laughs> if you want to try these out. Um, they're all pretty similar. It's just the prices are different. I like the Rimmel colors. I think the colors, they have green ones and they have other colors too. I like, I think these colors are really phenomenal. But if I had to, um pick which one of all of these that I like the most, I would choose the Wet n Wild ones, specifically Pixie number 130. I think it's a phenomenal staple. I love it. I'm actually thinking about buying another one, even though I've, like, not even had to sharpen this one yet, but because I want to have more than one on hand. But anyway, so that's what I think of them. I hope this is helpful. If I didn't answer any of your questions or if you had questions that you need answered specifically about these products, please post them below so I can get to them and address them and hopefully help you out with that. So if you like this video, please thumbs up. If you like my videos or you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, questions, comments, or concerns, um, even if it doesn't have anything to do with what I talked about here, um, post them below and I'll be sure to get back to you, like I said. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.